Hey guys, Jutes5000 here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to fix the engine trail mount bolts, whatever you want to call them, engine mount bolts. Um, here and here, they go into the oil pan here, and the oil pan's aluminum. And what happens, this isn't the right bolt, but uh, what happens is the, uh, the holes get wore out. And uh, they start to egg out, and your bolts come loose, and then your engine mounts loose, and your engine's loose, and, and you get big issues like uh, you can see this here. The bolts actually wore through the tin work, and uh, stuff like that happens. And you can even see the oil pans got some wear on it. Not a lot, but just enough. Um, but yeah, stuff like that happens. This, this did this. this obviously and uh, there's a couple other things <clears throat> but anyway what I'm doing today is I'm gonna drill them out this is a uh, 2364 bit and I'm retapping them with uh, 7 16 14 that's what this bolt is and uh, put a bigger bolt in there because I'm just gonna do it all four sides I had two that were pretty bad and I'm not really sure if which ones it was but I think one of these on this side's bad so, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to drill these. You gotta remember the aluminum grab is pretty good, too. So, it really does grab. I'll tip this over a little more. I don't care if the oil comes out. I'm going to change it anyway. Yeah, it really does grab. Let's put it on one. And you'll bottom out on the cast iron and it won't go any farther. So, yeah, this is a bad one. You'll feel the cast iron. And, uh, you do that. And you take your tap. As long as you can go in straight, which you should be able to do it without much issue. And, uh, just re tap the hole. I did the other side. I had no issues doing it by hand. I'm pretty sure this is a common problem with these. Because when you don't maintain them, and they start jumping around like this, I mean, the engine mounts on this one were shot. So that's, if you don't take care of that, then you have problems like say that blower shield there you have problems like that and, and then the problems just keep going down the line tip this back no I guess I don't want to stay yeah well let me move this back over here there we go Okay, well, I guess it's not going to stay for me. When I went to school for machine tool, and I tapped mostly everything by hand, so... I have a feel for it. If you've never done it, you know, it's not all that hard. You just got to know what you're doing. You know, turn, especially in aluminum, you always... Turn it in a little bit, back it up, because the aluminum chips get wedged in there sometimes and then causes more problems that you don't really want. But, uh, you know, just keep going. I counted, this should have about eight threads on the tap exposed. That's what I counted. So when I think it bottoms, and I'll go through and recheck it. About there. Right about there. About it. I'll just 
count them. I can go another half a turn or so. And you'll know it when you buy them. The tap won't go any further. And you don't want to do too much force because then you strip it out and then you're really screwed. There is enough here you could tap it another size bigger, half inch, half thirteen probably. You could probably get away with a half inch there. It's not much bigger. So, here's this bolt. Let's try it. Oh yeah, it'll go in snug. That's good. That's what I want. When these go in, they're going in. They ain't going to come back out. I'm pretty sure about that. Once I get this done, I'm gonna uh, clean the engine and power wash it, get it cleaned up, and maybe throw some paint on it. I don't know. I see a lot of silicone. Like whoever had it before me took it apart. You can see some in here on that uh, barren face there. So it has had some work done to it. The oil pan looks like it's been off, and the, the uh, cover for the Cam, the cam there and the other side looks like it's been off. And I put a, a newer, good PTO on this one. So that's new to me anyway. You can see all the aluminum chips coming out here. But yeah, if you guys have the uh, same issue, you know, it's nothing to be worried about. These, you can always tap them again. And like I said, I'm doing a bigger bolt because uh, the old ones are all wore out anyway. So I might as well put a bigger bolt in and it should help as far as plating goes. chips come out and you can use the oil on this if you want I just do it dry especially on the position it is in the oil ain't gonna do much it's just gonna drip right out unless you flip it over but Pretty close to the end here. Yeah, right there. All right, I'm not gonna count it. I can tell it'll bottom right out against the uh, cast iron. Now the thing is, if you want to tap these completely to the bottom, you need a bottom tap. Whereas this one is just a regular start tap as you can see the tapers on the end if it was a bottom tap the threads would go all the way to the end and uh, you could tap the aluminum all the way in but uh, I don't have to worry about that because the bolt is about the same length plus by the time you put the lock washer on and the engine mount itself it'll be it won't go in far enough to really matter but uh, if you wanted to tap it completely might get a bottom tap and uh, do it. So, we're all tapped here. I did all four. I did the other two before I did these to make sure I could get them. Um, now, just clean up the engine. Maybe throw some paint on it. And uh, paint up the engine cradle. I actually got to drill out the holes so these bolts go in. And, uh, and put them on. And the engine will actually be good enough for now. I'm not going to take it apart. I don't need to take it apart. I've already done that. And uh, should be fine. But uh, yeah, there's a video for you guys in case you gotta retap the holes in the 
engine mounts there in the oil pan and uh, that's the way I did it it does work it should hold better than the what it was um, before it was pretty much only about two and a half volts holding the engine in and so now it should be pretty sturdy I got all that power washed so uh, I gotta put this on either here or maybe I'll just put them on the forks there and bring it over and power wash it and uh, be good hey guys I'll uh, keep getting new updates for you see you later